Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our worship service. I'm so glad you guys can join us. Before we begin, let's open up in prayer. Let's pray. Good morning, God. We welcome you into our presence. We welcome you into our worship. Take your place in our heart and teach us your word today. Forgive us for the sins we committed this past week. Take away anything in our thoughts that would keep us away from you. Help us to love you with all of our heart, soul, and mind, and to love the people in our life as you have commanded us to do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, let's recite the Apostles' Creed in one voice. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he rose from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our scripture reading for today is Philippians chapter 3, verse 13 to 14. Let's read it together. Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it. But one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead, I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. This is the word of God. Happy New Year. <clears throat> Welcome to 2022. Uh, because it's the new year, I want to talk about having a new start for this new year. Um, before we begin, I want you to grab two pieces of paper and a pencil or a pen. Okay, you can pause me. Okay, do you have your paper and your pen or pencil? Okay, put that aside for a moment. Um, so I want to talk about having a new start because it is a new year. Uh, have you guys thought about having a new start, what that means or what that would look like? Anybody? It might be your first time. Or you may have done it a few times um, the past few years. But it's something people like to do uh, whenever the new year starts, whenever a new school year starts, whenever they move or get a new job. Um, people like to start fresh. And sometimes people like to start fresh uh, just to get, uh, get rid of old habits um, and to kind of to grow in areas that they haven't been able to grow in before. So this week, I want us to focus on spiritual growth. That is going to be our new start for 2022. Okay. Um, a lot of you guys play sports or instruments, right? <clears throat> and you practice every day to get better. Um, if you play sports, uh, you practice and you have games, you have uh, uh, scrimmages and things, you know, to practice uh, playing against other teams so that you would get good at the game and be able to win games, right? Uh, if you're practicing an instrument, you practice every day to improve so they can play well. Well, when you practice, uh, in sports, um, in, in your instrument, there's a routine, right? A certain way to practice every time. But have you ever noticed that every now and then the practice changes a little bit? Like you practice something differently. And in fact, as you get better, uh, it's different. Have you ever noticed that? When I, I learned piano long, long, long time ago when I was little, when I first started playing the piano, uh, we played just, you know, fingering things like, you know, uh, C, D, E, F, G, and then back down again, you know, 
one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. Um, first with my right hand, then my left hand, and then together. And then we practice some other fingering. And then we moved on to scales, right? And then we started off with easy songs. And they got a little bit harder, and a little bit harder, and a little bit harder, right? Um, it didn't. It didn't happen right away, but for <clears throat> for like one month, I would practice one type of fingering, and then next month I practice a different fingering, and then the the month after that I practice one scale, and then the month after that I practice another scale, for like two years. I just practice scales up and down, up and down, up and down every day, right? Not the same scale, but kept practicing scales every single day. Um, and I practice songs, but most of them were pretty easy. Uh, and then after I got better at those easy songs, my teacher would give me something a little harder. And then when I got good at the, those ones, she would give me something even harder. And each time they would get progressively harder and harder right? As I got better and better. She didn't give me one thing and say, okay, practice this. And then for the whole year, I practice that one thing. That's not how it works, right? Even in sports, you know, if you go to Taekwondo or baseball or soccer, the first time you, you, you get on the court or on the field or in the room, right? You don't start off <laughs> right at the top, right? You don't, they don't like just throw you in there and say, okay, go play. You start off with the basics, with the simple things, and you do it over and over and over and over again. And then when you get good at that, you go to the next level, over and over and over again, and next level, next level, next level, next level, right? And then every now and then they do something to change it up. I also took Taekwondo when I was younger. And, uh, you know, there are days when we would practice forms, right? And we would practice forms over and over and over and over again. And then there are days we would practice sparring and we would just spar. And then there were days when we didn't do forms, we didn't do sparring. We did like jumping jacks and jump roping and like running back and forth and a lot of like physical exercise, building our muscles. And so even, even in a short time period, he would change things up. Why? Because if all we ever did is one thing, the same thing all the time, we would never grow. We would never get better, right? I mean, we have routines. You might, you might, you know, practice the piano or, you know, um, have practice at the same time every day. You might start the same way, right? If you uh, practice the piano, you might start with warming up your fingers with, with uh, scales and things like that. And then you practice your song. But the songs that you practice will change, right? If you go to practice, you might start off jogging. You might have to run around the field or run around the gym or something, you know, a couple times. But then things change. One day you'll be just running back and forth, passing the ball. One day, I, I'm not really sure, <laughs> but, you know, uh, you'll try different things, right? You learn different things. And you have to keep learning different things, practicing different things in order to grow and get better. Well... It's the same thing with our spirit. Yeah. Our spirit, you know, our relationship with God, it's not just one level. It's not just this one thing. And then and once you have it, you have it. It changes. It grows. And so if we always do the same thing, one thing, over and over and over and over again, we're not going to grow past that. Okay. If I practice the piano, and I only practice one song over and over and over and over again, am I really going to be good at playing the piano? I'll be excellent at playing that one song. But if you give me another song, will I be able to play well? Probably not. Okay. Um, I, you know, I need to practice all different types of songs. I have to practice reading different music. I have to practice, you know, moving my fingers in lots of different ways um, in order to be able to play really well. Okay. Um, if you play soccer, football, volleyball, basketball, you know, whatever, whatever kind of sport, uh, if you only practice defense, you know, <laughs> can you play the offense really well or vice versa? If you only do offense, can you practice, can you do defense really well? Um, you have to practice all different sides of everything. 
if you want to grow and be good overall, right? Um, so what I want us to do, since this is a new year, I want us to be open to growing spiritually, okay? A lot of times we get into a habit uh, with our practicing, with you know our daily schedules, with homework, everything we have, we get into a habit. And habits aren't all bad. Some habits are good. Um, but sometimes, sometimes habits keep us locked in one little area. Like you get into a habit of playing the same song. You get into a habit of practicing the same things. Um, and you'll be great in that one area. But, you know, the rest of you doesn't have a chance to grow. And we do that with our relationship with God. We get into a habit of worshiping God one way or at one little time, doing one little thing. And we might get good at that one little thing, but we don't grow in our relationship with God. And so uh, we're going to forget what we have done in the past. We're going to figure out a way that we can grow together. Okay? So do you remember that paper I asked you to grab? I want you to grab the first sheet. On that first sheet, I want you to write down what you have been doing in 2021 to get closer to God. Okay? So, when did you pray? How often? How many times? How long? When did you read the Bible? How often? How many times? How many times? How long? Um, how often did you praise God? How, how often did you thank God? How often did you um, ask God for help? Anything you can think of. Okay, if you have like a specific time that you set aside, like every Monday, Wednesday night from five to six o'clock, I'm going to read the Bible. Uh, if you have something like that, that's great. Write it down. If it's not specific, it's only if it's like, well, I think I, I prayed two times a week and I read the Bible three nights a week. You can write it down that way also. Or one chapter a day. Um, I read five minutes a day. Okay, I want you to write down what you did on your on that first paper. Okay, that is our habit for 2021. That's something that we have gotten so used to doing that we were not able to grow past that anymore. Okay, so I want you to freeze me, pause me, okay, and write down uh, your list for 2021. Got it? All right. Now on your second piece of paper. I want you to write a new list, okay? This is going to be the new routine for 2022, but we're not going to make it so stiff. We're not going to make it, you know, into like a, a, a routine for the whole year, okay? So what I want you to do on your paper, I want you to write on the top, January to March, <clears throat> okay? And then skip a few lines and then go from April to June and then skip down more. And then write July to September, and then go down toward the bottom and write October to December. So we're going to divide our year into four quarters, three months each, okay? And for each quarter, we're going to write down a new routine, but we're going to change it every quarter so that it can help us to grow, okay? So in the first quarter, I want you to look at what you did last year. And I want you to make it a little bit more, more time or more days a week or more chapters. It doesn't have to be all of them. Okay. It could be the same number of days, but maybe five minutes more or same amount of time. You know, it could be like 10 minutes every day, but instead of two days, you'll do three days. So just one thing, okay. One thing, make it a little bit more, okay. So that you're spending more time with God. All right. And then I want you to write that down. And then from April to June, okay, uh, I want you to add something that's not on there. <clears throat> so what can we add? Kind of depends what's on your list. <laughs> I assume that everyone has read the Bible, pray. Um, so something new would be maybe <clears throat> give thanks to God. Uh, 
make it make it part of your daily routine so write you know write i thank you god for and make a little list of things that you're thankful for or even just praying you know reminding yourself to pray uh thank you god for okay and doing that every morning or you know if you can't do it every morning then uh you know three days a week or something so uh, add give thanks to god or it could be an act you know an act of kindness an act of generosity an act of obedience um it could be something as simple as helping your mom set the table for dinner um helping with the laundry folding your own laundry something that would help you to live out your life the way god wants you to live okay um and then <clears throat> the next quarter um where are we july to september uh, let's add something for other people. Um, let's add praying for other people. So during that time, let's uh, increase um, our awareness of what's going on. What I mean by that is, you know, look around at the, at the lives of people around you and try to notice, is anybody having a hard time? Is anybody struggling? Is anybody sad? Is anybody lonely? And we're going to spend time praying for them. So not, not things that people tell us, <clears throat> but things that we see. And so we're going to pray for God's people, okay? And then for the last quarter, uh, we're going to look into our heart, okay? And I want you to add, uh, how should we say this? Hmm. I want us to uh, maybe um, try to change something that we know uh, is not right in our heart so if you know you have something that god does not like like a sin or a bad habit or something um, from october to december we're going to pray and we're going to ask god to change that in our heart and we're going to try and we're going to make an effort we're going to work at changing that okay so these are how we're going. These are different steps of how we can change. I'm going to ask you guys to write it down. And when you guys, when I see you, um, you can you can show it to me. Okay, I hope. Um, show it to your parents, I hope. <clears throat> and we're going to kind of work on that. Okay? All right. Uh, and again, the reason why we're doing this is because uh, we want to, to get to know God more. We want to have a deeper relationship with God. We want to get closer to God because God is our salvation, right? Not this world. You know, our friends are great, but they're not going to get us to heaven. Um, sports, good health, good grades. Those are all great, but they don't get us to heaven. Only our relationship with God. So that's something we don't want to forget about this year. Okay, so 2022, our focus is going to be the first part of our focus is going to be changing our routine, changing our habit so that we can grow. Okay? Okay, let's pray. Dear God, we are starting a new year today. And with this new year, we want to have a new start in our heart as well. God, we confess that we, are, uh, we have gotten into a habit of only praying at certain times, only reading the Bible at certain times. We are not able to grow as much because of these habits. So we are throwing away our old ways and making a new one to help us grow. It may not be easy to stick to, but we ask for your help. And we know you will help us because you love us and want to have a deeper relationship with us. And help us not to fall back into our old ways, but to move forward. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, this Friday night... Uh, we will have Bible study via Zoom at 7.30, not in person. Okay? Let's close with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us this week. I hope you have a wonderful, blessed week. Bye.